Hi everyone, I welcome you back again for this video on Azure Update Management Services and we will be doing a step by step demo. This is a useful video for your if you are preparing for AZ500, AZ104 or AZ303 kind of certification. So let's begin guys. So first of all we will see what is an update management services and then we will talk about a couple of its features and we will quickly jump into the Azure portal to start configuring the demo for it. So here we go. So what an Azure VM update management? So when you uh, opt for a subscription from Azure, you Azure update management service is included and a part of it. You can manage your Windows as well as Linux server updates from a single location that is your Azure portal. And you can use it for your on-premise servers as well as for the servers which are residing in Azure environment. As I said, it is a part of your Azure subscription. So there is no additional cost to it. Uh, but you only you need to pay for the log data that Azure log analytics stores in the log analytics workspace Now there are a couple of ways why which you can enable uh, Update management for your virtual machines. You can either do it from the virtual machines blade directly uh, Where you go and look in the properties of your virtual machine or you can go into the Azure automation account And from there you can also enable it now your Azure update management uh, would be using certain components. So uh, with the help of those components, it performs that assessment and update deployments. And it starts with the Microsoft monitoring agent or MMA for Windows or Linux, which you need to install if it is on my servers. And if it is on Azure VM, then it gets installed as an extension. You need to have desired or you would be using desired state configuration in Windows PowerShell for Linux. That's another component which Azure Update Management Services utilizes. Then you also use hybrid runbook worker in Azure Automation. Your Azure VMs or the non-Azure VMs need to be in a position to contact with Microsoft Update or WSUS or Windows Server Update Services. If it is for Windows computers, if it is for Linux, then they should be in a position to reach to a local or a public repo. Your Azure automation would use runbooks to install updates, but you cannot view those runbooks and they don't require any configuration from your end. Azure will manage it in the background. Whenever there is a deployment for update is created, basically a schedule gets created, which will start the master update runbook at the specified time for the computers which you want to or which you are trying to manage through their update management and that master runbook will start the child runbook on each agent where they need to install the required updates the log antics agent for windows and linux needs to be installed as i said previously on the virtual machines that are running on a corporate network or other cloud providers now on the Azure VMs, it gets installed automatically once you enable update management. But for machines which are running or which are not Azure virtual machine per se, you need to install either through a manual script or you can also use Azure Arc for servers and you can push the policies and you can push the uh, agent through the policy deployment. So that was all about your Azure VM update management features. Let's go and try to configure one so friends now we are in our portal uh, where we have already created two virtual machines so that to save some of the time now we are trying to showcase how to enable azure update management for linux as well as a windows based virtual machine so let's as i said there are two ways to do it one way when you go into the uh, VM and you can enable that or you can select from here all your VMs which you want to enable as your update management is go to the services and here you can enable update management for the selected VMs here now if you want you can go into the individual VMs as well let's say I want to go in this one and I want to enable update manager for my this Linux virtual machine so under operations you go to guest plus host updates and here you can click on go to update management 
it would require a log analytics workspace as well as an automation account which should be linked to that uh, log analytics workspace and if it doesn't found anything it will create a new account for your reference so you can go and click enable from here and that would be enabled for this specific virtual machine i mean you would be enabling this update manual for this linux virtual machine this is the another way to enable that so and there is one more way where you can go to the automation accounts and create an automation account because this is a primary requirement if at all you are creating it or enabling it from the linux vm blade you need to create a automation account this is what we do let's say i'm going to call it update management and let's go next i want a system assigned identity for this account and then if you want you can provide tags here which i'm currently skipping and i'm gonna create the automation account it's gonna take some time let's wait for that so you can see our uh, automation account has been created so let's go and go to resource and once we are into the automation account uh, because we are trying to enable update management there's on the left hand side you'll find update management click on update management and here you can enable it you can see it will again it will ask for a log analytics workspace if you don't have one you need to get either you need to create one or you can use an existing one so that i already have an existing one so i'm gonna try to use that one so it's gonna see and try to read it and see what everything is all right and then it'll allow us to enable it so you can see we have this subscription of my log analytics workspace this is the log analytics workspace and this is gonna get connected with my automation account here so i'm gonna click enable and this will enable the update management for my virtual machines on through this particular azure update sorry azure automation account so it's gonna take some time so i'm gonna pause the video for a moment so this update management has been enabled and you can see there's this uh, little dashboard which we have and you will see uh, it start showing the non-compliant machines uh, machines currently we have zero out of two it will also show you the machines which needs your attention so currently we have uh, there is no critical and security one there is only other which is one pending and there is no one which is not assessed the 12 missing updates as of now so this they are not either critical or security one but they, they comes under the category of others there's no failed update deployments as of now which is a very good thing and if you look here from here you can see the machine names their compliance status what platform they belong to whether azure or non-azure what operating system they have if the critical missing updates or the missing updates are from security or other missing updates what is the update approval source and uh, and what is the schedule if you have a scheduled installation so it will start showing everything and currently it's because we just started so this is uh, not configured yet so it's going to take some time before it starts showing up then uh, as i said your windows machine will be scanned once in 12 hours by default and your linux machine would be scanned every hour for the assessment or the update of the missing patches or updates now you can create a scheduled update deployment from here where you can pick or give it a name let's say my this is my first deployment and you want to call it a first deployment you here you can pick whether you want this deploy, scheduled deploy, deployment for windows or linux then you need to define which items you want to update where you can add your groups or machines to update click on configure here and from here you can select what you want to uh, which machines uh, machines or group you want to select either from azure or from non azure Right. currently we don't see anything so you can pick your subscription here let's say i select all pick your resource group so i'm gonna just pick on this resource group and see i'm gonna add so it will start showing those machines i will say okay so this is the group i have selected then you click on machines to submit it from uh, from that particular query so i'm gonna click on machines and then i need to wait till time start reflecting and this is one machine which is currently being shown why it is showing one because i'm making it for the windows based operating system not for the linux one so click on ok and then you can select what update classifications you have for windows you have eight different classifications for linux based machines you will find two that is critical and security as well as others while while for windows we have got these eight different types so you can pick which update classification you want to uh, update then you can 
include or exclude updates if you want here you can select the schedule setting so just can give it a name let's say i want to give for uh, let's say ist so it's i'm gonna click on in ist here if you want it it can be a recurring one or you can recur every day every i mean this is depends upon your uh, policies how you want to go for updates i'm gonna keep it for this video i'm gonna keep it once and click on ok and once it is done then you can select whether you want to run any pre-script or post script i mean you want to run any script before your update happens and anything you want to run after your update is done so currently i'm not picking up anything for that you can uh, allow or you can define your maintenance window and whether you want to go for a reboot if required or whether you want to offer never reboot you might want to go to manual kind of a reboot or you want to select always a reboot all these reboot options are required so uh, you can pick from here so click on create so that will be creating your schedule deployment now there's one thing we have uh, now because there are two machines which were there which was uh, reporting to that log analytics agent workspace and if you want to add more azure vms you can go and add from here and what you need to do is basically you can pick your subscriptions pick your locations and the resource group and whatever vms are available you can pick from there we already have two which is currently selected so i'm not going to do that so i'm going to click on cancel but this is how you pick your or you enable your virtual machines in azure which would be enabled for update management now if you want to look into this one this is an option which will allow you to report these machines to the log analytics workspace which is id is given here and because of that it would be reporting to this update or update management or it can be brought to under the preview of this update management account which we just created so we have options whether you want to enable this on all existing or available machines if you want that it should be enabled on all available as well as to the future machines then pick this one and if you only want to select machines from a list which you can do from here right so normally i go for enable for all available and future machine because update management such thing which we want to continue with all the machine which we have click on enable so that's how you manage different machines on your update management services from azure so there's another thing which you can do so it's going to take some time before the deploy ha deployment happens and then after that all machines would be see this now this has been selected and this has been grayed out for us so that was all about the update management guys uh, uh, there are a couple of things which you need to remember that for windows machines your machine should be able to communicate to the either windows update or any wso server if you are using a, a local server for that if you are picking non-azure based machines and your linux machine should be able to connect to a local or a public repo from which from where it can pick up the updates so thanks for watching guys that's it for the day thank you